everybody so today your girl is going to be doing a cute dramatic look um and you know it's sexy and you know it's it's for the right season guys so um if you want to know how to do this look then please keep on watching don't forget to subscribe comment like this video and tell me what else you want to see in the comment section. And don't forget to follow up with your girl on Instagram, Snapchat, and what else is there? Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah, I think that's about all, guys. Um, oh, and Twitter. Why? Why would I forget about Twitter? Lord. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, see you on the next video. Bye, guys. So today I'm gonna start off with my Smashbox Priming Water. All this does is hydrates and prime my face for the color correcting and concealer and stuff like that. And I'm just adding in my Pore Professional Primer by Benefit uh, to minimize my pores since I'm oily. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Shape Tape and Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that transition shade from the ColourPop palette. Honestly, go whatever is closest to your skin tone to do the transition for these colors. So now I'm just gonna use just the muted out orange. Any palette, you know, that you have, you don't have to go buy the palettes that I'm using in this video. I'm just going ahead and use the pill orange and the pale yellow and in this video in this part probably about for 15 seconds you're just gonna see me blending back and forth between these two shades to make sure that it's pigmented and um transitioned correctly because it can get messy so pretty much um, I'm just going in with the orange shade in the crease and I'm blending it up into the yellow shade. So now I'm going ahead and I'm taking that yellow and I lost some of the pigmentation when I was blending in the orange. The yellow in the ColourPop palette wasn't pigmented enough so I went ahead and went in in my Morphe palette and added in that yellow shade to make it a little more pigmented. And now I'm just going ahead and blending that out and adding a little more in. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take a, it's kind of like a muted red in the ColourPop. So I kind of did, I didn't show it on camera, I did take a little bit of that red shade in the Morphe palette. So yeah, I'm just going ahead and blending that in my crease and you're gonna see me blending it up and then taking some of the orange and blending that out. So you just wanna make sure that your blending game is strong on these type of looks because you really don't want it to be messy. I'm just going ahead, like I said, and taking that red, and I'm just making sure that I blend it very, very precisely. And now I'm taking that yellow shade, and I'm blending that out. And then I'm going ahead and go in with a fluffy brush and a kind of fluffy, precise brush and blending that in on the outer. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take that red shade from the 35B palette from Morphe. And I'm just gonna pack that on my lid. I did put some concealer down so it can stick to it, so it could be a little more pigmented. So I'm just packing that down and making sure that's very pigmented. 
so I did off camera the other eye and I did do my um, face products I did apply that on off camera so I'm just adding that contour shade in nutmeg from um, Anastasia and I'm in a way I'm contouring and I'm bronzing at the same time I didn't want to do a bold contour because I have a bold eye and I really wanted everything to be focused on that the blush I am using is in party by Tarte now Tarte blushes is literally amazing guys I have been using this blush for literally the whole year of 2017 I never changed my blush that's the only blush that I have been using um, and I'm just adding a little to my nose. Now I'm using a duo fiber brush from Luxie and blending out that blush and contour together. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey. And it really wasn't that pigmented. Well, it's pigmented, but it wasn't, you know, that blinding highlight that I really love and I really wanted it to pop with this look. So I went ahead and added Sleek Makeup Solistic Palette. And I'm just using that orange shade and I'm adding that on top of it. So I'm just taking, you know, my duo fiber brush and just blending everything out because I really wanted everything to be put together and blended correctly. I didn't want anything messy. And I'm just adding, you know, some of my Cupid's bow and some on my eyebrow bone and a little on my nose. Oh, and I did add my pencil black liner. Just if you really want your look to pop, go ahead and add a black eyeliner, a pencil black eyeliner to your inner lids, top and bottom, especially the bottom, it really pops. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm just smearing that eyeliner out to make it very smoky and very vibrant. And it really doesn't matter, you guys, if you blend it out messy because you're going to go ahead and go in with like the littlest fluffy brush that you have in your collection and blend it out with that red shade on the bottom lid. And make sure you really smoke it out. You really don't want it to be harsh. We fell in love. So now I'm just going ahead and going in with the, I think it's the Chi lip gloss um, from Karuchi line by ColourPop. And I'm just adding in NYX lip gloss by Madeline. And I did set with my Urban Decay spray, the all nighter spray.